Hello Pisces, going to look into your situation, see what's going on. I know when I did your last reading, I was getting that your intentions, they're, they're manifesting right now. And they're manifesting all at once. So maybe you've been putting the intention in for a while of finding love. And then it's like out of nowhere, you meet, you know, a new person, you have an ex come back around, just, you know, love comes pouring in all at once, you know, unexpectedly. Like you go from being single to having all these different options. Um, so I don't know if you guys have met this new person yet or not, but that was what I was picking up the last reading I did for you guys. So let's see what's going on now. Reconciliation. So we have someone from the past that's trying to reconcile. Pause, reflection, rest. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Listening, understanding, new perspective. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. Finances and career. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Okay, you could have... Hmm. This interesting energy. It could be like a third party energy. Could be someone's... Some kind of betrayal or some kind of jealousy possibly tied to finances. I'll look more into that in just a second. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Choose a path. So I think there's two different stories here for some of you. There's someone here that's not trustworthy is what I'm feeling. Now, for some of you, this is your ex. For others, this is your ex's karmic, if that makes sense. So I'm going to tell you both stories. For some of you, you have someone that's wanting to reconcile, but when it comes back around, you need to pause and reflect and go inward and really ask yourself if this is still right for you. Because for, for some of you, this person was toxic. For some of you, there is a toxic person that's missing you. And when you manifest love, sometimes like everything comes in at once. You know what I mean? Like if you're, if you're manifesting love, it's like you might meet your soulmate, your true love. But you might also have people from the past coming back around because you're putting that energy out there. So people that are still open to you, people that are missing you might come back around. But it's, you know, just push through it. And, and they might be coming back around also this, so that you can get the closure that you need to wrap things up. So it's not always a bad thing. For some of you, I do get a toxic energy. But like I said, there's two different stories. For some of you, this person wants to reconcile. You got to ask yourself the important questions. So like, is this right for you? Is this person toxic? Am I considering reconciling with this person out of loneliness? Or do I truly still love them? Um, you know, what, is, what does home feel like to you? What does, you know, do you feel safe with them? Safe space, sense of belonging? Because you have this new perspective. A lot of you have leveled up from this person you've um it says true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness your faith and your bravery but also just new perspective listening understanding seeing things in a different light some of you have outgrown this person but your loneliness is going to make you question you know if you want to go back to this or not and you need to not listen to your loneliness because this, if this is toxic you know like your intuition knows your spirit guides have been screaming at you to let this go so this could be coming back in just for just to be wrapped up and you might get some there might be an ugly hidden truth here that this person was coming back around i mean not just for finances but it, it could be for some of you that so if this is if this is your version of the story it could be that they're not doing well financially, so they want like to live with you or they want um, some financial stability or they there's some type of just negative, untrustworthy energy here is what I'm getting. That would be coming in quick. So watch out. And you know if that's you. Like this person would have borrowed money from you or this person would be someone that kind of took advantage or just, just used you for something. So you would already kind of know that something's off here. 
So listen to your intuition if if some if something like this comes back around. Don't don't listen to your loneliness. The second story, which is probably the majority of you are in the second story actually. The second story is that this person does want to reconcile with you. Um, this is someone that is positive. They do want to reconcile. They have pause. They, they needed to get some things cleared up and they have, you know, they have this new perspective and they've decided that their home, their, their safe space, it's with you. Like you're this, this king or queen in their eyes. You're the whole package. You're very seductive. You're very glamorous, male, male or female. They just see you as someone who's very beautiful, very charming, very unique, could have blue eyes even for some of you. But it feels like when they come back around, there's going to be a third party here that gets jealous. I'm wondering for some of you if it could actually be two different people and one of them is coming in and they're actually positive for you. But then this other person that wants to use you is going to get jealous of, you know, your, your new boyfriend or your new girlfriend, and they are going to try to create some drama for a lot of you though. I feel like this could be your ex's karmic. Like maybe they had, they had some stuff to wrap up, to wrap up and they, they did. So now they're wanting to reconcile with, with you. They're seeing you as the entire package. They're wanting to come in and your person could be financially stable. And it could be this karmic that, you know, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, like, is jealous, is kind of plotting some stuff, um, wants this person's money. Someone, someone wants some, so, so use it, you know, take this as it resonates. Cause for some of you, this could apply to like a family member or someone that's trying to betray you. Like if you're watching this and you're like, everything's so on point, but this sounds like my sister, not my boyfriend, then, you know, take that, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's that energy group. Like it's your energy group, but I mean, it could, there's variations to this. Like it could be a family member, but the general energy that I'm getting here is that someone wants to wants to screw someone over financially. Someone wants to get their hands on someone. Someone's financially well off or about to be financially well off and someone wants their hands on that. They want a piece of that pie. And they might be plotting some stuff. They might be trying to come in quick. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Let's look into that more. Let's see choose a path if you'd like a private reading my email is below in the description box yeah so what it's saying here because we have choose a path and then we have sadness and we have dreams visions and tele telepathy so it's kind of saying like listen to your intuition even when what you're picking up is dark and, and negative it's like intuition is not always going to be bright and happy it's not you know what I mean like sometimes it is it shouldn't be fear-based, but I mean, sometimes you are going to get warnings from your spirit guides that you're not going to want to hear. Like if this is someone that you really loved and kind of like they kept borrowing money from you and intuitively you felt like they were just using you for money, but like part of you was like, no, like, I don't think it's like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like you knew, like you, you, you felt it. Something fell off when they'd borrow money from you or something fell off when they always asked you for a place to stay or, um, always asked you to do these favors for them or whatever it might've been. Like, you know, you need to listen to your intuition because your spirit guides are screaming at you about this. So this is if that's your 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 story, um, if this isn't your ex's karmic and it's actually your ex, him or herself, then it's kind of saying like you choose. Do you want to listen to your dreams, your visions, your, you know, the telepathic communication from your guides? Do you want to listen to the red flags and listen to your intuition or do you want to end up sad again and heartbroken again and causing your own pain, your own sabotage by going down this path when your spirit guides were trying to protect you and steer you this other way, but you have free will. So if you want to reconcile with a toxic person, they, what are they going to do? You know what I mean? Like they're going to let you probably, but you're going to, it's going to be more pain. It's going to be this karmic cycle is wrapped up. So it's going to be just you prolonging this pain when you don't need to, when you have someone new that could come in that would actually love you for you. Um, for others though, like I said, I think that this is, is your person and I feel like your person might be being guilt tripped by the karmic, by their, the karmic sadness. And they're not listening to their intuition because they might feel bad for the karmic. And little do they know the karmic is actually trying to manipulate them with, you know, pretending to be sad. And the karmic's trying to, you know, there's just, there's an energy here of just someone wanting a piece of the pie. Like someone's being manipulative. There's some kind of toxic energy here. 
and it could be yours. It could also, like I said, it could be your person's though. You're, maybe your person's very kind of gentle and empathic and they don't know how to stand up to the karmic. Some of you might need to protect them. You might actually need to do some spell work and do some protection work on them from this manipulative person. It's like these crocodile tears, like they're like, you know, they want the money, but they're going to pretend I don't know. They're going to pretend like they want... They, there's just something toxic here you need to be aware of. And I think that you're kind of aware of this already. Like, I don't think that... I Like, I think if this is your story, don't try to make puzzle pieces fit that don't fit. You know what I mean? Don't be like... If you're, like, paranoid and you're like, oh, I bet this is me. Like, no. Like, but if this is your story, I feel like your spirit guides have been screaming at you for a while. So you'll already know. Like, intuitively, you're already going to be feeling this. And you're going to be like, oh, something's off. Like, something something's something's up you know what I mean like you're you're gonna ha you're gonna have this like you're like your body will feel more tense like something's just gonna feel not right with you and this is what that is so like I said for some of you this is this is an ex that used you in the past and they want to come back around pretending to love you but really they just want to use you again and you need to listen to your own intuition so you don't get a heartbroken again for group number two this is someone from your past that didn't have all their ducks in a row and they might be really good for you and they might want to come back in now, but they have um, a karmic that's manipulating them and wanting their finances. And I think they're over. It doesn't mean that they're like in love with the karmic, but it just might be that like the karmic's going to get jealous of you. They're going to get jealous of what, you, what you're going to have with this person. And so, you know, you might kind of need to almost... God, I don't want to say that you need to stand up for them, but like for some of you, your person's very gentle and you're very assertive. So it's almost like some of you do actually need to do the protection work for them because it's like your person is in like a softer energy than, than you are. Like you're the more dominant one in that connection. So some of you kind of do need to do some work to protect them because some of them are so... Some of them are so blinded by the, like, they're not, like I said, they're not like in love with the karmic. Like I'm not getting that they love them, but I'm getting that this person is empathetic. And the karmic is narcissistic, so the karmic knows how to manipulate them. They know how to, you know, cry these crocodile tears and be like, oh, like, you know, just they, they're doing something to manipulate your person. Um, and, and I think for a lot of them, for most of them, it's actually about money. They don't even want this person. They just don't want to see them with you. They just don't want you to win. They don't want to see them with anybody else. This person is just selfish and just spiteful. And this person also wants their money on top of it. So, yeah, there's some kind of negativity there. True love, potential life partner, hidden truth. Someone's going to find something out on social media or publicly publicity hmm because there's a hidden truth and look at this publicity like someone's taking the mask off something's coming to light probably on a social media or through text or through a phone call some kind of like um you know like think of like laptops phones whatever like something's coming to light here let's see what's coming to light new love fate encounter Choosing their words wisely, planning their... Yeah, because I think this new love of yours is going to be a potential life partner for you. So either you have true love coming in for you. So if you do have... For some of you, like I said, you might have a toxic ex that's coming back around first. Um, but it's like to clear the energy up. It's kind of almost like a test from the universe. Like, are you going to give into the loneliness or are you going to be strong and you're going to know what you deserve and hold out for this this new person, this person that's going to be better, better for you, someone that's going to actually treat you well. Like the universe is kind of testing you. Like do you, are you really independent? Do you really know what you deserve? Like are you really going to stay the course? Um, for others, this is someone from the past that could be coming back around, but it's like, it's like new. It's not like the situation is different now. You know what I mean? And this is a potential life partner and they're, Let's see here. Choosing their words wisely. Planning their approach. Some of them almost want to tell the karmic about you. Hmm. 
some of them, like the karmic's trying to get it out of them. So I'm looking at these cards together. The karmic's trying to trick them into saying it, and then when they say it, they're gonna be like, ha, screw you. Like they're gonna, it's some, some there's some kind of trickery here for sure. Hmm. Vulnerability, receptivity, pride, stubbornness. Yeah, it's like, look at this mixed energy. Someone's mentally unstable. So either, like I said, if this is like the toxic ex is mentally unstable, that could be the case. But if it's like the ex is karmic or this, this person's, this person that's coming in, like if they have like a toxic karmic, it's like this person's mentally ill. Um, I feel like they know how to play it. Like they know how to be vulnerable when they want something and then stubborn and prideful and silent when they, like they know how to be manipulative. They know how to, they just know how to play games really well. So you need to be aware of this person. What, and like I said, for each of you, it's different. For some of you, this is like a brother or sister of yours and there's no ex or anything. It's not about love. For some of you, this is just like a family connection. For others, this is, um, you know, your ex is trying to manipulate you and you need to be a couple steps ahead and you need to clear this karmic cycle up. And when you do, you're going to have this new love that's going to be all about you coming in. And for the, for, you know, third group, it's like, you're going to have, um, sorry, I can, I get all over the place sometimes with it, with, uh, channeling for the, for, you know, that the other group, it's like, this is your person's, um, for most of you, I would say this is your person's karmic. That's going to try to cause some drama. That's going to try to manipulate them and cause some drama. Anger, miscommunication. Submissive, weak-willed. Yeah, this person's trying to dig their claws in. This pattern is going to end, though. This cycle is going to end. They are going to have... They are going to have a breakthrough here. Something is going to go in their favor, but it might take some time. And then they are going to... I do see, like, them giving this love offer, but they need to clear this up. They're not... Your person's not a bad person. I just feel like they're too gentle sometimes. Like, they're too... Submissive because they... This person knows how to get under their skin. This person knows how to make them feel bad, make them feel guilty. There's some kind of anger and miscommunication here. I feel like the karmic, this is like the karmic that's like angry. And so he or she is going to try to start some, start some chaos here. But this, this cycle is going to end and there is going to be love between you guys. So I hope this all makes sense. If you want a private reading, just send me an email. Thanks for watching. Oh, and um, please subscribe if it resonates. And um, donations are appreciated. My link is below. Thank you.